Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Lola. Walter and I are doing another Walter and Lola Quickie. combination. Quickie, <laughs> there you are. <laughs> I got a squad to see me and to see you. All right, awesome. So, Walter, let yes. me hand it over to you. We are talking about the street bog today. Yes, right? um, street bogs. There's been some controversy lately about the new street bogs that have been brought in the country uh, with some reliability issues, functioning issues. I've got an old one and I have a new one. Uh, um, we, we used the old one. We had the old one for months. The new one we just got a couple weeks ago. Sorry about the, there's ash on them because we've got a fire going out here. Kind of chilly outside. But um, nice. I'm going to uh, shoot both of them, see if I can have any problems with mine. And, uh, you know, then I'll, later on I'll take them apart and show you what the difference are between the two of them. So, okay. um, but yeah, All right, let's, let's check it out and try it out. First off, we got the, uh, we got the old one. Okay. which happens to have a comp uh, compact entry stock safety over firearms with a tail hook brace on it and um, I got a bunch of wolf ammo here so we're going to try it out and see how it works just a quick so you just pop it off. Pop it off. this one here has been uh, converted for a non reciprocating bolt okay, cool. so Did this one say, okay, it's old school oh, that's really yep, cool. let's flip up some sights boom yep. let's put it on fire that helps school gun runs fine. Let's grab the new school gun. Now that old school one, Walter, we shot a lot through that one already. This is a brand new one. Uh, I haven't even shot it in the bullet trap in the shop, so okay. let's see how she runs. Yep. All right, so this is pretty much the first shots. Yep. Let's see here. Flip up the sights. That was, I don't know how many rounds, a bunch of rounds of Wolf steel case. Seems to run fine so far. Maybe I got lucky I didn't get one with a questionable spring. We'll do some more shooting and I'll report back and then I'll show you guys what the difference is. Wish this mag loaded easier. It doesn't load super easy. Ah, come on. The old mag or the new mag? Uh, these are new mags, actually. There's nothing wrong with the mags. Okay. They're going to be... Yeah. Some people have had some issues with the feed lips breaking. Um, they're supposed to be making some steel feed lip magazines. Um, I haven't shot enough to have any problems with it, but it's just a tension. I need to get a loader instead of doing it with my fingers. Yeah. And I think that nice. will be enough for right now. So let's take the new gun back out. All right. We started off. You need to get the first spill we done. One of the first ones in LA. Hang in. Hang in. I'm gonna go left, and here we go. All right. Well, that was X X number of magazines, X number of rounds, I should say. Uh, no problems yet. Um, we'll keep trying and see what we come up with. Thanks. So what kind of problems have there been with the new one? Um, the new one, there's been problems with uh, rounds not ejecting properly and getting stuck inside the gun. Okay. So it's just basically function issues. Um, they changed, they, they eliminated a, a rod that was, that rides on the bolt and they changed the buffer in the back a little bit. So they said that some of the springs were too weak and that was causing the problem. Um, the old school guns, the older model of guns had zero problems, could use any kind of ammunition. So um, it might have just been a fluke with the spring. Um, they're supposed to be, you know, we're working through it and everything. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so there's been multiple people having yes, issues. Yes, yes. Aside from uh, Military Arms Channel, there's been some other people who had problems too. Okay. Just normal people that don't have a, a, a website on, on YouTube okay. or a channel on YouTube. Yep. All right. Okay, so you, do you want to break it open and talk um, about what the differences yeah, are on the inside real quick, real quick. If we got some light here, I guess. I'll show you the difference real quick. Yeah, let me come around on the oh. inside. Pit fits a little tight. Fits real tight. There we go. Okay. 
That's this. So this is the new one. That's that. Here's the new one. And see the way this is like a one piece rubber buffer and there's one rod. The old one, which I'll show you in a second, has a two piece with a piece of metal in the middle and it has a separate rod coming out here also. Okay. So let's take that one out real quick. And, well, hopefully real quick. Um, these pins can be really tight sometimes. Pull that off. Um, oops. Bring that down. Slide that out. Slide this out the back. I really need to build like a fire pit out. Try not to launch it into space. These sometimes are a little tight coming out. Come on. Oh, that pulled off. That's not supposed to happen. Um, there we go. All right. So, this is the old type of bolt. See where it has the second rod? Oh, it looks beefier. Where this one only has one. Right. And, of course, I pulled that buffer apart. That's supposed to be on there as, as one piece. But, um, like that. Okay. So you sandwich the, um, there's a piece of metal here and then two pieces of rubber versus one big piece of rubber. Gotcha. Minus their extra rod. Mm -hmm. So there was issues with, some people showed there was cartridges getting stuck inside of here. So, so that's I don't know. why they did away with that, that piece there. Right, with, but the ones that don't have the extra rod on it. Yes, yeah. correct. Yes. Okay. So, I mean, the bolts are the bolts have not changed any. Mm -hmm. It's just this recoil spring assembly that's different. Okay. So, that's the that's the thing that's. Um, they say it's. They're getting ready to do a different version, and you know, who knows? Maybe it was just a issue to try to lower their production cost. But um, some folks had some issues. The the spring tension on my two guns feel the same. Um, I haven't measured them. I'm not a spring manufacturer, so I don't have the equipment to do it, but as you just saw, both of them ran about the same with the same ammo, so the reason they went to the captivated type spring, like this has, did you, you guys didn't see the spring, did you? Let me show you. Oh, see, this spring is not captivated, so it's just loose, so this comes out as an assembly versus this one here, which is a little more challenging to reassemble because you have to, you've got to slide it in there. See, already, you got to slide, you got to kind of work the spring in, work the spring in, work the spring in, there you go, and then come up here and catch it, and then it's then it's captivated. Yeah, I see. So I, I could see from a production standpoint, if you're handing that to somebody to assemble, this is a lot, this is a lot more tougher to assemble than this, though somebody's got to do this arrangement too, but they probably have a fixture to do that on, so. The, the, definitely the old school way is definitely more cumbersome. Right, right, so. Whether it's directly proportional to the problems or proportional to not having that rod there versus spring tensions, who knows? Yeah, who knows? But um, but uh, yeah, they're, they're supposed to be working through it. But, I mean, for, for, for the price of the street bog versus its competitor, um, it's not had any problems with it per se. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's only competitor really street bog wise is uh, uh, price wise is a CZ Scorpion. Um, and I prefer the street bog over the Scorpion myself. But, okay. Why is that? Um, the upper is all aluminum versus being made out of uh, plastic <laughs> screwed together. So that's just me. Yeah. A lot of people love the CZ. I've got CZs at home. They work fine. Mm -hmm. But I, I just prefer this one better. I mean, we make stocks for both of them too. So it's not a matter of not making a stock for one or the other. So um, we had some is actually issues. Some people in the newer guns. The way they machine this back here, it it, uh, it messed with our stock design a little bit versus the first gens. The second gens were having problems with the rods running into the receiver, so we've we've modified our our stock base, so now we don't have that problem either. So mm -hmm. it wasn't a, a, a gun function issue; it was just a <laughs> stock wouldn't close. So, um, but we're working through that too. So we'll have those back up pretty soon here for those guys that are waiting for them. So, anyways, sounds good. All right, thank you so much for watching. Right. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe. All right, ring that notification bell, as Hank would say, so you can get me notified every time we throw up a video. And uh, we'll do our little jig here to say thank you. All right, peace out.